unknown ransomware on the loose. What could it do to you? So today I have a batch file which was sent to me by one of our viewers. And when a viewer of the PC security channel sends me something, it's usually malware. It's anyone's best guess as to what's in there. Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, I know all the details of this file. But the point is, this ransomware is quite novel. And not novel in the sense that it was created recently, but it has never been exposed to the wild. And nobody has had a chance of actually analyzing this file. It has not been uploaded to VarsTotal or submitted to any analysis website. So this is true, unknown, zero-day ransomware. Our test system here is running Windows 10 with all the security updates and Windows Defender. As you can see, it is turned on and it is up to date. I'm just going to check for definitions again. So this should give us a good idea of what happens when somebody encounters unknown ransomware with default protection. Let's go ahead and extract this file. As you can see, it is a Windows command script or batch file. Windows Defender does not seem to give us any kind of warning. So let's go ahead and run it. Now it just opens up this command prompt window, which I'm going to minimize. It will give us a log of what exactly is going on if something goes wrong. Our pictures here are the primary target victims. The sample isn't exactly very optimized, so it does take a while to do the encryption. But at the back end, it is using 7-zips encryption technique, and the algorithm is AES-256. Now, once again, what makes this ransomware very novel is the fact that it's not using C-sharp or any of the traditional programming languages, and the encryption algorithm is still very strong. So now we'll just leave the computer running and come back in a few minutes to see what has happened. All right, I just had a drink and came back and well, what do we have here? It seems like most of our image files are already encrypted and instead of actually giving us any kind of text prompt, because that can trigger a few behavioral defenses, this ransomware actually just overwrites the files with this image. And obviously this is a joke, WinRAR karma. I wonder how many of you use WinRAR and you haven't actually paid for it, despite reading that prompt that this is evaluation software every time you just click continue and go on, don't you? <laughs> you might meet the same fate one day. But the point to make here is it's not insanely difficult to create a ransomware which is brand new totally unknown to most AV vendors, and it is going to bypass traditional defenses and encrypt your data. I'm not trying to bash Windows Defender here, because I know a lot of premium solutions will give you the same result. So as a consumer or an everyday user, what should you take away from this? Keep backups of all your important data on a disconnected external storage. And if you don't know what that means, just buy one of these, you know, external hard drives that plug into your computer via USB, back up all your data there, and just disconnect it and keep it somewhere else. Because by using a very few tricks, and this is not a very sophisticated sample, I'm not going to show you the exact script, but I can tell you that it's not very sophisticated by any standards. But it can still wreak havoc regardless. So for those of you who think that they are immune to ransomware, I would say think again. No matter what protection or security product you're using, unless it's something really special, I wouldn't be too optimistic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think these kind of samples give us a lot of insight as to how vulnerable a lot of today's technology is. Also, I think this is a very good demonstration of why it is difficult for AV companies to cope up with threats as they increasingly blur the line between 
legitimate and illegitimate software. So for example, a similar encryption technique is going to be used by 7-Zip when you want to create an encrypted archive. So how does the AV program then distinguish between that and what this file is doing? There's always going to be that ambiguity, which is why security is never going to be perfect. Yeah, you heard it from me. Security is never going to be perfect. So there will always be some element of human intelligence assisted by technology. That's just my view of it. But feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.